to keep the rulers on at the same time because guides are probably one of the most useful features in Illustrator. Um, so, oh, another uh, actually really nice feature are smart guides, uh, which you can enable uh, once again from the uh, view menu. Smart guides. So what happens with smart guides is when you select a thing and uh, then you place it in somewhere interesting, there's a little green outline that shows up. Uh, so for example, I can move diagonally along here, right? Or I can say, uh, I can, uh, it, it snaps basically to this outline over here. Or it snaps to, I, I don't know, whatever it finds, right? That's interesting. Or I can snap it uh, here, for example, you know, to the uh, to the vertical line. So that's another option. I don't find smart guides very useful, but some people like them. Uh, the other thing that you uh, th that you want to know to align things and place them are uh, the is the uh, align palette. So you want to go into window and go into align. Uh, so this is the window right here. Uh, and then you can select everything, and once the uh, the align palette is is open, then these guys are going to enable you to align things. For example, um, so you have the options of aligning things, let's say horizontally or uh, vertically. Okay, clearly this this is the right thing here. Uh, you can d uh, distribute objects. So for example, I can vertically distribute center, and now my things are kind of as though they're on a grid, basically. Um, so these tools, uh, again, very useful. Now, okay, so moving stuff now in uh, 3D rather than 2D. Um, uh, so Illustrator has several levels of ordering things uh, in depth. Um, there's like the usual level, there's the, like the most basic level. Uh, so for example, here, if this is here, you can see this plot is on top of this plot. Uh, if you want to bring this up top, you can just right click and select, uh, actually arrange, bring to front. You probably want to know these shortcuts. Um, it's the like square bracket in this case, like shift, square, uh, like alt, square bracket, or whatever. Uh, but the more interesting way of uh, setting things up in, um, in depth is uh, the um, layers palette. So the layers is up here, or you can select it from window uh, layers, it's F7. And now you can create a new layer, uh, let's say, for this guy. And now, because it's it's a layer and it's a, like a second level of ordering, uh, no matter how, how low I place this, I can send it to back, for example, and it's still on top of this other plot, right? So one useful feature that you get with layers as well. So uh, first of all, you can see the sub-objects which are contained uh, in the layers, right? And there are a lot of them. Uh, for example, here. How did you move uh, the second plot on the layer two? Uh, in, in this case, I use Control X. Oh, right? you just copied and pasted. Copied and pasted. Right. Exactly. Um, actually, that reminds me. There's different ways of pasting things, and uh, I'll, I'll show that later. Uh, another option is to select a layer and then you right click, you set arrange and send the current layer. And now you see it's back here. Uh, now actually one interesting thing is that when you select things, uh, you get different colors depending on the different layers so that you can get a visual idea of which layer this is on. So this highlights in red and this highlights in like a blue. Uh, you can actually set this it's an option. That's the color of the highlight. And you can rename your layer, obviously. Uh, so a really useful feature about layers is uh, locking, right? So uh, let's say that you, know, you have some sort of background or whatever, um, let's say. Uh, and then you want, don't want to touch it. You don't want to be, be able to select it. You, know, you don't want to mess around with it. Then you just lock everything that's in that layer and at that point, you will be unable to select it, no matter what you do, right? So that you can edit this thing, which is on top of it, and it won't matter. Uh, and then you can just click to unlock. Uh, of course, you can change the ordering of, of uh, layers by dragging them. 
one on top of the other. You can also duplicate layers using this little icon, which is probably the smallest icon in the world, and use duplicate, for example. So this is actually really useful for versioning. Instead of like create, creating an alternate AI file, uh, when you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try this thing, but I don't know if it's actually going to work. Uh, so you just duplicate the layer, and then you, you would say like, uh, let's say try one, and then on the second layer, uh, try two, and then you just hide your first try, right? So then you can, uh, so then you can edit this thing as much as you want, uh, and if you don't like it anymore, just go back to it. Boom. Okay, so that uh, small icon triggers visibility. Exactly, exactly. And uh, if something is uh, so, if something is locked or invisible, you can't do anything on it. You can't paste things into it. You can't nothing of the sort. Okay, so that's pretty much the end.